Guys, Elon Musk is famous for many, many things. And one of them is leaving a breadcrumb trail for things relating to Tesla. He's one of the most intelligent, calculated super brains on the planet. And he leaves it up to us to decipher those codes and work out what he's actually trying to tell us. He'll drop a casual tweet like he just woke up feeling cheeky one morning and wanting to stir the pot. But anyone who knows Elon's patterns knows that he doesn't do anything by accident. And this recent stock split is also not an accident. I reckon he's given us a giant metaphorical wink and has a hidden agenda that most of us would not have been able to piece together. And that's exactly what this channel's all about. I try to dedicate as much time, energy, and effort as I can to a lot of research for you guys so that I can crack these codes, piece things together, interpret different information in different ways to give you a fresh perspective. And hopefully that helps you with your own decision making. And while I've seen tons of videos on the stock split and people are talking about what is a stock split, how does it work? And even I did that. At first it even went over my head but since then I thought to myself hang on Elon doesn't do these things by coincidence there's definitely some intentions behind it and I made it my mission to work out why I think he split the stock and I've come to some very very big conclusions and historically one thing is pretty consistent with Elon Musk and that is that the people who are on the right side of interpreting the things that he's putting out for us those little breadcrumb trails they're the ones who stand to make the most from Tesla so then what is it Dan what is Elon Musk trying to tell us First, let me paint the picture for you. Elon has always been a man of the people. He's always doing interviews, he's putting out tweets, and most importantly, he actually responds to his tweets. He seems to genuinely be interested in what his investors have to say about his company. He takes it all on board and he often acts on these different things. So that's just step number one. He seems to be interested in his fans and his investors and what they have to say. Step number two, however, is that Tesla is on the brink of breaking some massive, major ground, and not even on one front, on many fronts. And when you start to see how all of these things come together, as well as the type of person Elon is, you'll understand exactly why they've split their stock. At least you'll understand my opinion of why. Don't forget, I'm not a financial advisor. I'd never give you advice about your money. Please do your own due diligence and seek professional help when investing your money. All right, firstly, Tesla has been working on autonomous full self-driving technology for a while now, and Elon has suggested that it might not be as far away as we think. And not only will it be convenient as hell, it will also be very disruptive to the rideshare industry as it is right now, because they will be able to introduce automatic, automated robo-taxis. So forget Uber drivers, taxi drivers, awkward conversations. Is he going too slow? Is he going too fast? Is he taking the long route? None of that will matter. It will be totally automated. And Tesla are on the forefront of that technology. They have their own AI chip for autonomous, the only auto manufacturer to have one. So we think they're going to be way ahead of the game on autonomous. And that's where the real surprises are going to be. Now that's only one of the major breakthroughs that Tesla is right on the cusp of achieving. Another one is that they've just recently qualified to be included in the S&P 500. Now there is criteria to be included in the S&P 500. And as far as market cap goes, it's only about $8 billion, something that Tesla achieved a long time ago, they are way, way beyond that point right now. But to qualify for inclusion on the S&P 500, there are rules that new companies must have been profitable in their most recent quarter and over the past year before being added. And with its latest earnings, Tesla just crossed that line. And this inclusion might be a bigger deal than you realize because it makes them available for people who like mutual funds and index funds and grants people more access to Tesla stock in different ways. And in classic Musk fashion, Tesla are even achieving that milestone in unique fashion because hell, they are trailblazers. Lillard, long range three, and it's good at the buzzer! In terms of dollar value, Tesla will become the largest company to ever enter the index. They join a pool of other eligible candidates and are considered for inclusion when an opportunity presents itself, at which point the committee takes several factors into account such as sector balance and size representation. So while the inclusion looks like it's almost a certainty, it's not an absolute guarantee. So just keep your eyes open to that one. Now the things we've just talked about are very exciting, but none come close to how exciting the next thing I'm gonna talk about is. And once we start to connect all the dots, don't worry, I'll do all the dot connecting. You sit back and relax. That's my responsibility to you. Once we connect all those dots, hopefully it will all make sense to you. I hope so. And by the way, if you're enjoying the video so far, slap a thumbs up on it. It helps so much with the YouTube algorithm. It helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, anybody who's following along with Tesla knows that Battery Day has been scheduled many times and has suffered 
6,397 delays. Very frustrating. I don't know why I had to check my watch for that, by the way. But nonetheless, here we are. One thing that Elon has been very insistent on is he wants to do this in front of people. And it's now scheduled for the 22nd of September. Will it go through? I don't know, but it is officially scheduled for the 22nd of September. So keep your eyes out for that date. And while there's been lots of speculation about what we're gonna hear on that day, I'm pretty confident it's gonna be some massive information. And Elon has said, what they wanna share will blow your mind it blows my mind. And I don't know about you, but I would personally love to know what blows that man's mind because he has done everything there is to do for a person on this planet in one lifetime. So if it blows his mind, I'm pretty sure it's gonna blow our mind like he says. One of the rumors is that they're looking to announce a million mile battery, which puts them in place to break some unbelievable ground in human history. And according to Kathy Wood, one of the biggest Tesla bulls out there, they are about four years ahead of any of their competition when it comes to batteries. And some experts even say that they're about six years ahead of any of their competition. Their battery cost is three years ahead, three to four years ahead, of any other auto manufacturer in terms of the cost declines. And so every other auto manufacturer will, if they want to be competitive with Tesla, they will have to sell their cars at a loss at the same time they're losing their internal combustion engine business. And Tesla are on the absolute verge of achieving what can only be achieved once in human history. There is only one company that will ever do this first and it's looking like it's gonna be Tesla and they are way ahead of the competition. And that achievement is that if they can manage to reduce the cost of their batteries per kilowatt hour to under $100, they will be the first company to create a car that is cheaper than the classic combustion engine car that we have seen for the last, oh, I don't know, more than 100 years. This truly is a once in a lifetime opportunity and it's a breakthrough that no one else can be the first to make. And Tesla's gonna be that one in our lifetime in front of our own eyes. And you're probably thinking, how does that relate to the stock split? I still don't understand. Be patient, I'm getting there. Man, these guys are so aggressive. Oh, you're still there, sorry, I'm only kidding. As part of Tesla's endless pursuit to find the most cost-effective and high-performing battery, they acquired a company called Maxwell Technologies for oh, just a casual $200 million just last year. And since they've done that, they've been a little bit secretive and a little bit vague about what they're trying to achieve. But what we do know is that Elon has said that he believes it's kind of a big deal. Maxwell has a bunch of technologies that if they're applied in the right way, I think they can have a pretty big impact. And my understanding is that the main technology he's referring to is Maxwell's Tri Electro technology which Elon Musk believes can be applied to Tesla's batteries, which will allow Tesla to produce far more batteries far quicker and save a buttload on costs. And I believe all of that is related to their secret project called the Roadrunner, which is now not so secretive, Mr. Mysterious Musk. That actually sounds like a superhero. But that secret project, Roadrunner, is not so secretive anymore and it's all related to making sure they can produce their own batteries and do it all in-house. That's the ultimate goal. Believe it or not, the battery is actually the most expensive component of a Tesla vehicle. So by acquiring Maxwell Technologies, they're not only improving their own products, but they're also making sure that they don't have to rely as heavily on external resources. That goes a hell of a long way in cutting their costs and improving their overall operations. And this is where it all starts to come together. And no one's pointed this out more clearly than Kathy Wood, which by the way, is the biggest Tesla bull that I've seen. She's on record saying she expects it to get to about $7,000 a stock and optimistically, potentially even $15,000 per share. And Kathy believes that if they can get their battery prices low enough and save enough costs, that will firstly create enormous savings. And secondly, it will allow Tesla to drastically lower the price of their vehicles. And that combination will unlock a freakish exponential growth opportunity for Tesla through increased demand in a big, big, big way. Think about it this way. At the moment, Tesla mostly offer luxury vehicles, which we all know most people can't afford. But if they eventually start to lower their costs, lower their cost of their battery per kilowatt hour to a point where it's cheaper and more affordable than the average combustion engine, vehicles we've seen forever, that's when they're gonna unleash an enormous wave of demand because suddenly every man and his dog can afford a Tesla vehicle. That might be a bit of an exaggeration, but it shows you the idea that they will be more affordable to the masses. And that is when they will truly start to unleash 
their potential. At the moment, they've spent years developing and building a product as well as they can, and they are on the precipice, on the cusp of achieving these massive goals. And that is why I believe Elon Musk and Tesla decided to split their stock five for one. Because without doing that, how are people gonna be able to afford it if they start achieving these goals in the next few years and the stock price just soars off into the stratosphere, kind of like SpaceX? Because that's the ultimately why companies do stock splits. There are a couple of reasons and the psychology is important to understand. The first one is because they want people to be able to access their stocks and make it available to more retail and casual investors. And the second reason, the most significant, is because they believe that the stock price is gonna to continue to go up dramatically into the future long term. And he's given us a big heads up, letting us know that those are the things that he thinks are gonna happen in the near future. And at this point you might be thinking, but Dan, why would they care about us? They've got institutional investors, that's not going anywhere. Why would they care about the little investors putting in thousands and maybe tens of thousands of dollars? Why would they care about people like that? It's a good question. I think the reason is because the more people that they can get involved, the more believers, the more people on board, the more likely those people are to buy their products. And the more people that are buying their products, the bigger the brand, the more that they're able to achieve. And we know that they're reaching for the absolute stars. Guys, I really hope you can appreciate that that's just my opinion. This is my research. This is my homework. I've come to these conclusions myself. It doesn't mean it's right. There's every chance I'm wrong, but it definitely makes sense in my mind. And I just wanted to give you guys a fresh perspective and offer something you may not have thought of yourselves. And that's my job on this channel. So if you enjoyed that, smash the thumbs up button for me. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, I'm Dan and you've been Dan's Blamed. See ya!